Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to the Sinai campaign, day one, sortie two, Matrix Send. The main changes to the previous scenario is that uh, the Egyptian Air Force have become a lot more aggressive after the first wave this morning. They were a lot more aggressive than we anticipated and that has escalated and we're anticipating that particularly in their air defense role they're going to be a lot more uh, aggressive than they were this morning we've also noted that they've positioned air defense aircraft from the nile area into the middle of sinai so their response in air defense terms is likely to be a bit quicker and likely to be more numerous so those who are on cap you'll need to be uh, fairly sharp this evening otherwise in the north up near the gaza strip is forces were pushed back and they've uh, now had to regroup at the southern end of the Gaza Strip and uh, in the adjoining Egyptian territory. At the southern end by Elat and in the Taba region, uh, IS forces have been able to reinforce and they are now more numerous than they were this morning. Some of the convoys that we attacked this morning got through and that's led to the increase in uh, numbers down there. Our intelligence forces have also heard that there is a shipment of material proceeding from up the Red Sea and into the Gulf of Aqaba towards Sharm el Sheikh. And we have an opportunity to uh, intercept that and sink the ships before the supplies can reach the front line. So uh, the weather this morning, uh, this afternoon is a little bit warmer, 28 degrees, but otherwise much the same as it was this morning with good visibility, a little bit of haze clouded around about 7,000 feet. In terms of each individual flight, first flight call sign Ford. Ford is a flight of uh, 15 f 15 eyes uh, operating from Ovda. They've been Ford deployed to attack the convoy. They're equipped with four 2,000 pound GBU-10s, two AIM-120 Charlie, two AIM-9 Mike, targeting nav pods and three 610 gallon fuel tanks. The primary target is the IS shipping convoy, consists of uh, eight ships, two of which are Corvette escorts, a heavy tanker and various other freighters, which all need to be destroyed. You have two aircraft in the uh, flight at the moment with four bombs apiece, so that should be one for each vessel. The main uh, vessels clearly are going to be the tanker and the supply ships. The escorts, if they uh, need to be left, they are a secondary target. They're not the priority. If you have any ordnance left over at the end, you can attack secondary targets in the Sharm el Sheikh port, but be aware that there are air defences around the port, which may make life difficult. The route is as per the waypoints in your kit. I have assigned uh, different laser codes for each of the aircraft and you should be able to uh, separate your laser codes for the bombing. Moving on to the second flight of F-15s, that's Pontiac. Their role this evening is armed reconnaissance. There's only the one aircraft in the flight uh, at the moment. Again, originally a flight of four F-15Is, this time equipped with 12 air balut retarded Mark 82s, two AIM-120 Charlies, two AIM-9 Mike targeting pod and two 610 gallon fuel tanks. If you're not happy with this loadout, those who are operating on this in this flight, you can change to the loadout you prefer. And I have assigned um, laser codes to bombs if you wanted to use LGBs. The primary target is uh, Islamic State helicopters, uh, fairly close to the operating area uh, along the coastal highway. We're believed to be operating from remote sites within about 10 to 15 miles of the border. So carry out a line search, either at low altitude or high altitude according to your stores and uh, destroy as many of the enemy helicopters as you can find. Secondary target is uh, further south along the coastal highway. The intelligence have revealed two more re reinforcement convoys, and uh, you can take those out if you've taken out your primary targets. Threats for you, Islamic State, AAA, man portable air defense systems, and European Air Force, uh, Egyptian Air Force cap. Your route is as per the waypoints, but basically line search the uh, Sinai coastal highway. Turning to the next flight, Python F-16s in the suppression of enemy air defense role. We have two aircraft in that role. Talking, turning to Python briefing tab. Your main role today is to suppress enemy air defenses, particularly the Egyptian Air Force SAM and radar sites that may threaten our aircraft operating uh, near the border. Not expecting any Islamic State uh, radars or SAMs, so your primary target is going to be Egyptian uh, facilities. You may also encounter uh, Egyptian Air Force on CAP in the area of operation. Threats to you, mostly from the Egyptian side, either CAP or SAMs. Your route again is as per the waypoint, and your loadout today is four harms, two AIM-120 Charlie, two AIM-9X, targeting system pod, and one centerline fuel tank. Turning to the next flight, which is Viper, again F-16s, three aircraft on that. Your job today is to patrol the uh, border on cap, preventing any Egyptian Air Force aircraft from interfering with our operation.
Three uh, F-16 loadout today is four A120 Charlie, two A9X, and two 370 gallon fuel tanks. Your primary target, any enemy or unidentified aircraft infringing Israeli sovereign airspace, and uh, enemy, any enemy aircraft or helicopters threatening Israeli aircraft operating in the battle areas. Threats for you, the Egyptian Air Force cap and helicopters, and occasionally SAMs if you get into Egyptian airspace. Your route is as per the waypoints in your kit. Turning to the last of the fixed wing flights, we've got a call sign Dodge Spearhead Squadron. Uh, there's nobody in that flight this evening, so I shan't brief that unless somebody wishes me to do so. Turning to the helicopters, we have nobody on um, Apache flight up operating in the Gaza area, so I'll, uh, won't avoid, won't brief that. Moving on to Pale Horse, based at the Farp Elat and there are three aircraft in the flight. The primary target for this flight is IS artillery, about 10 to 15 miles behind the line, uh, taking advantage of terrain masking to shield themselves from our ground forces. Intelligence reports there are six artillery pieces, maybe more, and our job is to take out all of those. If Pale Horse tackle all of their primary targets, secondary targets, are to attack IS ground forces, particularly any, any AAA or SAMs that may be in the area. Route again is as per the waypoint, but anticipated routing is to the west initially to flank around the enemy forces and attack the artillery pieces from the north. And moving on to the last of the Apache flights, there's only one helicopter operating tonight in Gunslinger flight. Gunslinger is to um, provide close air support along the front line to operations mounted by our ground forces and also to airborne troops being transported into the area by Hueys. The loadout for um, these eight this Apache is eight laser-guided Hellfires, two rocket pods, and full uh, load of 30mm ammunition. Threats for you, IS ground forces, AAA and small arms, and man pads as well. Uh, again, the route is as per the waypoint, but it's all flex fairly flexible routing for you up and down the front line looking for enemy forces and engaging as required. A secondary role for you is to try and provide some cover for the transport helicopters, which will be operating from after about 10 to 15 minutes after you reach your air operation. So the last flight for this evening is Uzi flight, Desert Birds. We've got three UH-1 Huey helicopters transporting ground forces. Uh, you'll be on the ground at Ovda, and there are chalks of 14 troops each to pick up. Once they're loaded, proceed along the route towards the northern flank of uh, just behind the enemy lines where the uh, enemy or the insurgent troops are massing. Keep yourself out of any immediate hazard and deliver the troops around about waypoint two for you and the troops will then move forward and engage from the ground. Once you've dropped off your troops in the area of operations, feel free to either provide close air support in terms of your door gunners or to return to Ofta to rearm and refuel. Flights, 69 hammers, F-15I, Cap and Simba? Bean. Uh, 133 Squadron, Knights of the Twin Tail. Just Jaff as well, not many people in today. 107 Squadron, uh, F-16I, Alley and Drop. 119 Squadron, Bat, F-16I, Cover, Stoat and Shrack. 113 Squadron, Hornet, uh, it's Apache's Matrix, Blight, Red. 113 Squadron, Apache, Poosh. 123 Squadron, Huey, Bendy, Jigsaw, Makabu, and that is all. Right, welcome in viewers back to the F-15E. We've got to remember how to fly this now. How hard can it be? Lights on always help. For an old man. Got to wait for Simba to get in the jet. Bean, um, what laser code are you going to do? Yeah, Cap House Matrix is basically giving you 1688 and then everyone in the flight one number below. So I have 1687. Yeah, if you press, uh, I think it's Shift K, you can always check your um, your knee board to see what the code is. Well, mine says 1687, FYI. Yeah, mine says 1686, so you can set that in the TGP and it should work fine. Roger noted, 1687. Yeah, copy that, I know I'm 1686. Yeah, just say I've changed my radar as well to channel Bravo 1. Roger, we'll stay on Alpha 1 then. Well, well remembered, I always forget that. Okay, the guy behind me is moving his head, so it must be Simba. He's just not on comms. Simba, if you can hear me, look left and right. Huh. Right, we got Simba in. Hello, Simba. Hello. Right, obviously you haven't been able to hear me. Uh, Simba's got some radio problems, and we'll try and diagnose it if we can. 
Simba, first note, we're on laser code 1687 today. That's what we've been assigned. So we need the T-Pod set up as 1687. Obviously, we need the GBU set up on step and nose tail fuse and blah, 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 auto. Let okay. me double check our bombs are at the right laser code. Roger. Okay, so you're working the packs and the teapot today, by the sounds of it. Bean, what's your ready status? Yeah, I'm ready to go when you are, Cap. All right, Viewingtons. Let's see if we can remember how to fly this bird. Well, we can't because we're not moving because of that. Nice delivery you've got yourself, Bean. Thanks, Cap. You too. Thanks, I painted it myself. Brakes on and rev the motors. One mark. Big old crosswind on today. Okay, bombs are set up. Roger Simba Wimba. Left roll to waypoint one. Roger, 32,000 pounds. Nice. All right, let's go mill power. We are there and we're going there. Simba, can you see the TSD? I'm assuming the hostile ships are on or near waypoint four. Do you concur? Yes. All right. And did you set the? Did you say you set the teapot to 1687? Affirm. Teapot 1687. I confirm the bombs are laser code 1687. Right. Well, that's it. Tews. What does Tews say? Tews says nothing. That's good. Cycling, steer point two. Yeah, copy that right turn. Bean, do you have any objections with 25,000 feet? Yeah, no problem, Cap. Just keep an eye out for there's some enemy F-16s out there somewhere. Oh, the enemy is F-16s, do they? They do as well, yeah. Yes, that could be problematic. Ooh. Right, so we're not going to know who's shooting us at twos, a friendly or a bad guy. All right, looks like the Egyptians are kicking off already. You can see that. Yep. Man, we need a data link in this friggin' thing. No SA at all. Also, there's two on our nose. Uh, we're running straight into, so I guess we see what happens with that.
about to enter a threat ring. You could always go 144 to try to get away from it. Roger, is it, do you know if it's a hostile? Do you know it's a hostile? Uh, yes, it's a hostile threat ring. Beam, we've detected a hostile SA2 threat ring. We're gonna divert slightly. Copy that. Also, that 16 threat to our six appears to be hostile. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, so we're already surrounded front and back by hostiles. Yay. Just the way we like it. Yeah, Tews is very busy behind us. Happy with that vector, Simba? Roger. Yeah. All right. We should we should pass about 65 nautical miles away from it. Right. So let me check my map. All right, viewers, we took off from down there somewhere. There are baddies down here. There are, so we're heading south. So that's the Red Sea, right? That's the Red Sea in front of us. So the Mediterranean is behind us, okay. Which means that's Egypt on our right. And that is Sinai on our, no, God, I'm confused. Does this go out any bigger? Uh, yes. No, it's, no, 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 Saudi Arabia on our left. In Israel, Ifra. and it's Ifra. Sinai Desert on our right. And there's Egypt, right? Uh, when are we good to turn back, Simba? We got a ways to go. Roger. Sam appears to be at the southern part of the Sinai Peninsula, and the 16s took off from a ways behind us. The seed seems. Well, we've got plenty of fuel, so we can loiter. Thirty thousand pounds. Viewers, that's the Sinai here. This is Israel slash Saudi Arabia. I'm not quite sure where the border is. That's the Red Sea there. And our target is somewhere around there. Beam, we're side skirting around the left of the SAM and then we'll come in, we'll turn into the Red Sea again. Yeah, copy that, Captain. Oh shit, what is this, Simba? Looks like a 16 I'm, uh, getting to our there in the 7 o'clock. Well, it's behind us, so I guess we keep going, guys. Stop it, F-16. I'm gonna bend us right slightly, Simba. Copy. We are 73 nautical miles away from the area of the ships. I'll copy that, Captain. Right guys, that on our nose is the Red Sea. Uh, we are 70 miles away from the known area of the ships.
right Simba get that freaking teapot warmed up and uh, you can slave it towards uh, steer point four Simba and start searching as soon as you can I guess F-16 would piss off. Is that T-Bot on Steer Point 4, Simba? It looks very close to the shore. Yes. Uh, I'm looking in your teapot screen. Do you see in the upper right portion there are three smoke? Do you see at the top of the top of the teapot screen there's some smokes there? I don't know if you can see them. I see them as white. Just humour me, Simba. Go back to the coast, uh, up a bit, up along the coast. Uh, follow the coast. Stop there. What is, what is that? They look like ships to me, Simba. Yep, they do. And are they our ships, though? Possibly. Let's get a little closer. Uh, what's our slant range to us? 40 miles, isn't it? 40 miles. Maybe. Uh, Bean, we found a bunch of ships along the shore. Um, I've got no way of sending yeah. you the target at the moment. Yep, that's our target. It's Captain inside the coast of the town. It's on the southern part of the peninsula. Uh, only downside is that's also where the SA-2 is. Best thing you can do is follow me for the time being. I can tell you that on the coast, that's the best I've got for you until we start uh, visualising it. Yeah, no worries, Cap. I'll, I'll just follow you. About 70% of the way between here and waypoint 5. Yeah, copy that. So they're, they're kind of in between um, Sharm and the Egyptian coast on the other side of the Red Sea. If you're with me, I'm looking now at my half past 2 o'clock and I actually see them visually uh, along the coast in a port. It's probably best if you just stick with me. The problem we're going to find is they are 100% protected by an SA-2. We're going to go and give it a little test and see what it does. Yeah, copy that. I'll, I'll let you go in and eat the missiles for me. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> so we're going to do a test run just to see what the SA-2 does. Simba, is that the SA-2 if you left on that little bit of land? There. Have you got any more zoom on that? Let's That's go, all the zoom we got. Let's go closer and, and see what yes, happens. That should be the SA-2. We are now heading towards the target area at Angels 20. We've identified the SA-2 site, not that there's a lot we can do with it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, copy that, Cap. I can see your target now at waypoint 5. That's uh, our secondary target at Sharm. Oh, is this not our primary target? Yeah, that's correct. So there's a convoy coming from the other side of the Red Sea to waypoint 4, and waypoint 5 is our secondary target. Duly noted. Um, I'm probably above waypoint 4 now, so I'm going to take us out to see a bit. We'll start searching again. Roger Bean, get searching. 
waypoint four should be off our nose somewhere. Uh, you got it, it's right above our nose, so we're gonna head out this way then, just to start scanning around. I'll uh, use my eyes to try and find it. Oh, I found it, I found it, I found it. I'm gonna tell you when it's on our nose. Okay, fleet spotted, fleet spotted, at a heading from me of oh, break. Two, three, five, magnetic. Simba, if you snowplow the uh, the teapod and look ahead, I estimate 15 miles, you'll find it, no probs. Got it. Lock a ship and uh, just gonna friggin' do a thing. That's Big Bertha. All right, baby, good teamwork. Bean, we have uh, the Big Bertha locked up and we're running in for bombs. Copy that, Cap. Love it when a plan comes together. And some such. Oh, have you set countermeasures up, Simba? Be firm. Now the question is, how much damage are we going to do with 2,000 pounds? In real life, I'll probably sink it, but... Bean, which ship are you targeting? We got the one in the middle. Uh, I haven't, haven't got them yet, Cap. I can see them on the nose, but I haven't designated them yet. Well, this is jolly spiffing viewers, isn't it? Um, are you on auto lays? Yes, you are. Be firm. Ten seconds to release. Right, let's see what I've screwed up. Oh, master arm. God, that was close. Five. On the way. Remember, I'll go for on the, the left side. Wind on the left of Big Bertha. Roger B, uh, do you want to keep on the left side? Roger, Roger, Roger. I'm just going to slow down because I've got a little ahead of myself there. I'm not sure why the auto leaves is not firing. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? It is, 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 it is. Hit it. Impact. Hit it. Large ship hit. Uh, can you work your hand, can you F10 it and try and see how much health it's got, Simba? Uh, it does not show up on the F10 menu. Huh. Right, well I guess we keep going until it sinks, question mark. Alright, I'm going to head out for a few miles before we come back, Simba, just leave it there. Alright viewers, 2,000 pound bomb hit it right in the face. But it's a big ship. It's that big one, isn't it? It's that, what's it called? Um, sea Wise Giant? Mm, that was 600,000 tons. 600,000 ton ship. All right, we are six miles out, Simba. I'm going to do a hard pull. Hold on. Bean, we hit our ship, but we don't know how much damage we've done. It didn't say, and I'm not sure what to do. I'm testing, it took me at least two 1,000 pounds to take out the handy wind, so you're probably going to need at least two. Noted. Are we dropping 2,000 pounders? Yes. I think these are just... Mm, yeah, I'm not sure actually. GPU 10s. Bean, you haven't spotted any fighting ships, have you? There are some frigates down there, but they look like the AAA kind, not the SAM kind. Two bombs dropped off for some reason, Simba. Did you hit the weapon release button? Just normally. Um, just guide him in for now. Uh, we may need them yeah. anyway, so it's all good. Uh, no, we both hit weapons pickle. I didn't even know you could do it. It's okay for me to do my run-in, Cap. Absolutely, yeah, uh, free fire. Do you want to bomb them, Simba? We killed it, we killed it, we killed Impact. it. Sea wise giant destroyed. We'll now go for the ship that you're not hitting. Right, when we turn around, we need to find the one that he's not attacking. I'm going to give you a side aspect, Simba. So release. far, I only see bomb smoke on the one that we're, we dropped. He on. hasn't hit one yet. We're going to go for the far one, Bean. The far one, yeah? Copy that. I'm going for the tanker. Copy. Okay, yeah, you're going for that one, Simba. Say when. Pickle. Yep, I got him. All right, got to turn in. All right, who's bombing, me or you? Uh, I will release. That All way, right. I know it's tracking my pod laser. Tracking 18 seconds to drop. One away. All right. Oh God, what happened? Pod Good lost on. it. Uh oh. Dang it. Oh well, Bean should have enough uh, to clear up the remaining ships. What's your progress, Bean? Yeah, Cap. I don't. For some reason, it didn't track and hit the target. Don't know why. That's weird. Roger, we are Winchester, but you've got two ships to blow up, so do a thing. I would gun them if it wasn't for those um, guided cruisers. Simba, do you want to fly for a bit? Sure, where you want me to take us? Just uh, keep running in an orbit like this, I'm just going to have a stretch. 
All right, you have control. Ah, ah. Man, F15 is nice. All right, I'm gonna go and watch. Um, I'm gonna go and watch uh, Bean. Come on, Bean, we believe in you. Bean, you're flying too fast. You want 300 airspeed, otherwise you'll overshoot your own laser. All oh, right, bomb away. Okay, Bean, do you have it in auto lays? Yeah, copy it's a last. It says it's lazing. All right, and uh, let's see what happens. It's against my knee board. You have a track, you have a track. So the key now is not to go too fast because you'll overshoot the extent of your laser. And then everyone has a red face beam. <laughs> Copy that, Cap. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Impact. Two impacts. Bean, you're next going for the uh, big supply ship that's there, please. Copy All right, Simba Wimba. Um, I'm going to put some air to air master mode just in case we get jumped. Okay. Right, we're getting somewhere now, viewers. Teething issues worked out. Okay, Tews is all clear. Which is A, rare, and B, nice. I like the way the ships have just stayed still now to get bombed. That's beautiful. Did the red one sink? Or... I, uh, scratch it. The big sea wise giant has sunk. Oh, I uh, think. Mm -hmm. What about the one he hit? That hasn't sunk. Hits on the second one. That's a hit. All right. What kind of BDA have you got there, Bean? Uh, yep. That ship's destroyed. What about the previous one you hit? Uh, I'll go in with my last uh, weapon on that one. Oh, there is, viewers. That is wonderful news. Look at us doing a thing and not screwing it up. I love it. I'm so confident. I'm even going to punch in the RTB waypoint. That's how confident I am. Punch, punch. Yep. Great one sinking. Sink! Sink! Go get him, Bean. Pissed down in my run. Splash. Well done, boys. Right, everyone punching steer point one, get to it while avoiding the SA2. Mill power, off we go. Right, 130 miles to steer point one. Oh, you know what? Let's do some combat jettison, or let's get rid of the fuel tanks and stuff. It's good practice. I'm going to try doing it. Okay. So I remember how to do it. Um, just a bit rusty as all. Alright, so should be. And they're going. Done. Yeah, baby. Bean, I've dumped my bags to make us more slick. Yeah, it could be that cap. I've just done my wing ones. I've still got a bit of fuel left on the other one. Ah, in fact, you know what, Simba? There's a better way of getting the base. I, I, from memory, it's Bravo. I'm going to try selecting Bravo. Bravo. Ah, it works. Steer point Bravo in. Yep, I'm just keeping that SA2 left. Yeah, he's a nasty little character. There he is. There's an SA2 and SA3 there, viewers. Never even got a shot at us. Uh, there's nothing we can do against it unless they get the SEAD guys in, which they don't appear to be doing. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure which flight Shrek was, but Shrek went down in a 16. Oh, we went down. Um, I'm looking at Ali. He's in Python 2. He's got seed weapons, but he's not going for our part of the world. He's going for another part of the world, so no, there's zero chance of getting those um, those things done. F-15s, they never carried, um, they never did seed work in real life, did they? So they never carried harm. That was the F-16s. Yep. Harm is the F-16 roll. Hmm. With the have glass RCS reduction. You also want a little bit of agility when you're doing C. Mm-hmm. 
part of things to get shot at. Yeah, 30 tons trying to dodge uh, SA-2 with 30 tons of plane. Not so much. How you doing there, Bean? Yeah, good cap, I'm on your six seconds here, control. Oh, the helicopters are having some fun. Just off your left wing cap. Roger, Simba's flying by the way, I'm watching helicopters. <laughs> okay, fair enough. The eye in the sky. It's like driving Miss Daisy but from the back seat. Mm -hmm. Guess some. Guess some. I'm gonna have me some fun. Possibly the worst shooting I've ever seen, and I've seen some bad shooting in my time. Might as well not even bother. Oh, Jesus. Actually, do something. I think they'd do better just. Oh, wow, well, I can see us. That there, that's us. I can see us, Simba, from the um, helicopters I'm looking at. That is weird and kind of cool. See that, viewers? Oh, someone shot some harms out, but God knows, that's hitting in. Where the hell? Is it? That's the Nile. That's the Suez Canal there. No, that's the Suez. Yeah, that's the Suez there. So someone's doing some harming near the Suez. How far are we out, Zimba? Can you tell on your on your seat? Forty-four nautical miles. That's forever. I mean, I can fill it in burn. We can see if he no. figures it out. Bean will get upset. He's a very sensitive soul. I don't know what these were fired at, but they weren't fired at towards baddies, I can tell you that. A lot of bad flying, apart from us, a lot of bad flying going on today. No, that ain't going nowhere useful. Splodge. Waste of quarter of a million bucks. Ooh, that's an SA-11. Um, now it's SA-11. Uh, we're coming back the same way we came, guys. Alright, well you're in charge, Simba, just don't launch. do anything crazy. You've been launched on? Yep. Oh shit. Out. oh shit. Do a thing, guys. I'm on the ground, my camera's on the ground, I'm trying to look for where it is. Where is SA-11? There it is! Alright, guys, it was fired from your left front. Left front, you sons of bitches. Right, and they are 100% tracking. So, go full power away from those sons of bitches. Back in the plane, did we do a UE? You know, did we do a hard right? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes, That's we perfect. did. Nice. How are you doing, Bean? So far, still alive. Roger. We've beaten the first one. Beaten the second one. Well, where did he pop out from, guys? No idea. All right, we're going to go on the right of the uh, sea slash river and head back at low level. Yeah, copy that. Captain already down in the roots. 
Matrix always puts something nasty in for us. Ooh, Israeli aircraft, Egyptian airspace. You have been identified. Egyptian air defense forces have been alerted to your presence. Egyptian right, well, airspace. Yep, you will be shot down immediately. Let's get home fast in that case. Because we don't have the wares to take down a whole flight of mirages. Oh, we're real close. We're real close to base, Simba. Hey, firm. Bean, we're 25 miles from base. Where are you? Yeah, I'm still a bit behind the cab. Roger, we went low level. Did you follow? Yeah, I did, Cap. I'm actually uh, between you and the base. Simba, do you know, notice how nothing weird happened on our mission today? Ooh, don't speak too soon. Just saying. Oh, we could glide back from here, I'm not too worried. It's on our left, by the way. Ooh -wee. Yes, Bean did somehow get ahead. Son of a bee. I reckon we can beat him to it. Okay, got Bean on the scope. Passing Bean. Bean is on two o'clock high. Okay, I'm overhead base, so I'll just do a left hand orbit about 5,000 feet or so wait for you. Roger, roger, we're one mile behind you. Look at Bean doing all this friggin' Milsim circuit. We can just straight in like a couple of hammers. A couple of big swinging dicks, Simba. That's what you've got going Bean, on here. Do you want me to go to the other side of the airfield to come in? Nope. No, I don't. All right. You want to do flaps and gear? Uh, I can remember how to do that. Right, G button done and flaps traveling. Okay, beams on base behind us. All is well. There's one important thing, Sim, but one important thing. Low altitude. Low A thing altitude. happened. Nice. Israelis bringing it back home, baby. You think you're an F-16, don't you, Simba? Oh, F-15s are notorious oh, for holding the nose. Stamp on the brakes. It's a tiny little runway. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Use the brake. Use the brake. Use the brake. Okay, just don't flip it and we'll be all right. Very good. 70, 60, 50, 40. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Right. We'll cut that bit out and no one will see it. And we didn't hit a tank this time. Take a right, take a right, take a right. Beam won't notice. Oh, I was just going to uh, drive into the hazards right in front of us. Beam, we've safely landed. We're taxiing. Copy that. I'm downwind. There's nothing. If you look on our F2, there's nothing wrong with our jet at all, Simba. Apps. Wow, we're a true Israeli. A true Israeli. Important thing, Simba, we don't lose any damn face. I almost pulled off that J-turn. You almost, you did almost pull up that J turn. All right, here he comes. Bean, if you notice any fire, it's purely because we started a barbecue in your absence. Copy Just that, put Captain, another no shrimp on like the bad. Sausages, please. Sausages, Roger. But you know, evenly cooked. I don't want them black on the outside, raw in the middle. Well, that is my, that is the way I cook. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we hit it in a friggin' has. He can't see the evidence, Simba. He can't see the evidence. And we'll hide it from the crew chief as well. We'll just say it's Bean's plane. He's the novice. Where is Bean? Is he Man, still doing circuits? Yeah, he's doing all Milsim BS. Although, to be fair, he's not on fire. But still, it took ages. Oh, give it time. Welcome back, Bean. We're very proud of you. Thanks, Cap. Remember, I accidentally booted us out. Where's the parachute and the thrust reverses on this thing? Uh, well, look, our plane's moving forward, Simba. Why is it moving forward? And why are you so old? Wow, you're old. I thought we were the same age. How about that? The plane is moving forward steadily. Oh, it bounced off a thing. Well, that's what happens when you don't get to sleep. That is what happens. We need to get to sleep. Yeah, I had a lovely sleep, by the way. Right, Simba, that was nice. Uh, let's go back to the debrief. Look, a closer look at the pushers on the on the missile pylons. How interesting. Welcome back to debrief, Matrix. How do you want to do this? Each flight can then...
each flight can then go through how it went for them and I have a summary at the end. Roger. Um, I don't have the flight orders here, but flight one, go. That's you. Mm. We had a jolly old uh, time. Uh, we took off. We flew 150 miles. Uh, was it south or north? I'm still confused about uh, our orientation. South. South. We found... Our, accidentally, we found our reserve... Oh, wow, loads of stuff's going on. We found our reserve target was about to bomb it, and then I got told it was a reserve target. So then we had to go and find our primary target, bombed it, killed all of the ships beautifully. We only missed one bomb, which was great. Um, and then um, RTB got shot out by loads of SAMs, dodged them in a real sexy fashion, watched some helicopters for a bit while Simba flew me home. And that, well, our AWACS got killed again. Um, and that's it. And mine had a small, small incident on landing. Next flight, please. Okay, RTB's... Uh Python, uh, Siad. Right, well, we got airborne, and uh, we've probably been the big mistake of getting airborne ahead of the uh, the cap by only just a small amount. Um, as soon as we got airborne, there was an awful lot of nasty men chasing us, so we uh, decided to go the opposite direction, waiting for the cap to uh, shoot them all down. Unfortunately, the cap didn't shoot them all down, and uh, then they shot us down. And as we'd been airborne about five minutes and we had two spare aircraft sitting in the house, we thought we'd be a bit naughty and go and uh, respawn and have another go. And then all we seemed to be able to do was um, shoot down fighters. And we both shot down quite a few fighters and killed the odd uh, Sam 11, the odd radar head. But um, all in all, um, a lot more cap than seed. Roger, we need, uh, we need the um, competitive at air guys with us again because these Egyptians are frigging good. Keen, I would say. Keen. Mm. Next flight, please. That's uh, Viper flight. Cover was the lead. I don't think Stoat ever made it. Um... Cover and I took off, immediately ascended to like, I don't know, 25,000. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, immediately engaged with enemy fighters. Cover was taken out. I took out, okay, I took out uh, one enemy fighter and I got taken out. Because we uh, got taken out so quickly, Matrix let me respawn. I took out... One more 16 and a Mirage 2000, but uh, the Mirage 2000 had two other friends with it, and I got taken out again. And that concludes our flight. Watch out. God, you guys ran into a wall of S at the beginning. We had no idea. We took off, and we couldn't see any fighters around, and we thought, oh, this is easy. We had no idea that maelstrom was going on at the back there. Uh, next flight, please. Uh, that would be Pale Horse, three Apaches. We took off from the Farb at Alat, made our way west, flanked around the enemy insurgent forces, and we went a bit further south than the primary target of the artillery, but we engaged some enemy insurgents on the coast, took out some AAA and some man pads, uh, proceeded north towards the uh, primary target, uh, took out three of those, I was then shot down, and the other two managed to successfully prosecute a load of other targets, so we had a, a good uh, a good flight. Roger. Next flight, please. Um, it was me. I uh, took off and rendezvoused with the Hueys to escort them down, and immediately three out of the four of us were shot down by uh, Egyptian F 16s. Yes, you were, Bush. Yeah, and uh, Matrix allowed us to respawn. Unfortunately, well, the Hueys can tell you what they did, but so we went down further down the coast and shot some targets up. Uh, eventually, two of the other three Hueys got shot down i went back up north the coast shot up a bunch of uh triple a and then george died hmm. so on the way home um i got shot down roger uh next flight please yeah so uh uzi flight uh bendy jigsaw makabu um i jumped in as flight lead and promptly decided to take us in completely the wrong direction so uh jigsaw jumped in and took over, and we ended up going the right way. Um, as Pooch said, yeah, we pretty much got obliterated about five minutes uh, five minutes into our flight. So we did have a cheeky respawn. Um, and um, by that time, only one set of troops was left. So Makabu picked those up. Um, he did manage to deploy them, I think, but then, but then he died. Um, and Jigsaw ended up jumping in with me. And we managed to find a huge convoy of buses and trucks. So we shot at them for a bit till we ran out of ammo and then headed home. Roger, we saw that. Um, is there any other flights? Yes, red team, or uh, whatever blue team's done. I think we're done. All right, uh, red team, I was assigned an MI-24 for the insurgent forces. 
unfortunately, there was nothing that uh, Blue Force needed to do to eliminate my flight. Our lack of maintenance did that ourselves. Um, the MI-24 uh, engines were broken before even launch. So they never even left the ground. Huh. How about that? Well, it sounds like you all had a bloody nightmare, but my flight, absolutely creme de la creme. Weird, huh? Matrix, punch it. Yes, I hope uh, despite all the issues that uh, you all enjoyed that and have some fun. Uh, clearly, damp on the enemy side didn't, and I need to address those issues. But um, some good results there. Some of the flights did very well. Others were swamped by cap, and that was really down to the fact that I was anticipating a lot more guys on our side doing cap. So I need to reduce the uh, enemy cap if this is going to be become more balanced and more fair. Roger, guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. Later. Cheers, Cap. Thank you for the mission. Put a house in. Thanks, Matrix. Pleasure. I'm sorry it worked out that way, Sock, but next time I'll make sure you're, you see you're right.